in as far as um, preserving nature is concerned. And this was a challenge to me and to us as a church, because as people who... Um, any May I most humbly request His Excellency the President to move towards where the house is so that he will be representing us and members of the family also to be there as the police band now plays the national anthem. Your Excellency, sir. inside that coffin made of water hyacinth and bamboo because of our wishes lies one of the greatest leaders of our country one of the greatest heroes of our country Wangari Muta Wangari, Wangari was a great leader of our people the site where we are standing today to pay tribute to her is called Freedom Corner, mainly because of her efforts. This place was not named Freedom Corner without a lot of efforts, a lot of struggles, and a lot of sufferings. She made it a practice to come and plant trees here. And behind where we are standing, she single-handedly fought against construction of a 60-story um, um, building which would have defaced this particular park. The last function we held was to plant trees in the Mao forest. So we are happy that the rest of the world have joined us in paying tribute to this great lady. Wangari's legacy goes beyond Kenya, all over the world. Last year, I was with her in Tokyo, Japan, when she was being honored by the Chinese Japanese government. We have lost a great, dedicated, selfless, Kenyan patriots 
all that you want to say here. That our sister, you are not dead. You will continue to live in the hearts of hearts of the people of Kenya. Your work will continue to inspire the rest of the world to know that this globe called Earth is only one. That as members of the human race, we have a responsibility to preserve it, to conserve it for the future generation and for posterity. My sister, rest in peace. She did the trailblazing all the way to Norway. And now, as you have heard from the ambassador of Norway to Kenya, three other ladies have since been named Nobel laureates. Although one of them is Yemeni, but you're so proud that out of our sister's recognition, Africa is richer. The proudest moment I had with the late Professor Angari Madai was when I had the singular honor of escorting her to Oslo in Norway in order to receive uh, this coveted award. I then used to make a joke, Your Excellency, that I had achieved a very interesting distinction of being the only minister whose deputy had become world famous and a lot more famous than the minister himself. It remains the case even today, Your Excellency, because I know that the attention of the world is actually uh, fixated on what is going on here at the Freedom Corner. I just want to urge the family, Wanjira, and the family, my friend uh, Professor Njeroge Karanja, that the efforts of the Green Movement will live on, that this is yet just, just a beginning of the uh, commitment that by all of us to bring to fruition what our sister stood for. She stood for environmental justice. And I think all of us now are wiser and a lot more informed. I think then from here into the future, in the weeks, the months, the years ahead, we're going as a tribute to plant so many trees in memory of our late sister that the world would truly wonder. Because we must, at the end of the day, in honor of our sister, your Excellency, reverse the negative impact of global warming and the problem, the challenge of climate change. May that wonderful Kenyan African smile continue to live in our hearts in the years ahead. We celebrate her life, which has positively impacted many lives not only locally but internationally. Besides being a woman of great courage and tenacity, the late Professor Wangari Madai demonstrated by example the virtue of selfless service to the nation. These projects set in motion the birth of the Green Belt Movement, a brainchild of Professor Wangari Madai, and her uh, able uh, stewardship, the organization has played and continues to play a leading role in conservation of our environment. Certainly, she has stood out as Kenya's most outstanding champion of environmental sustainability and through her relentless efforts, present and future generations in our country and the region will enjoy a much cleaner and safer environment. Indeed, it was in recognition of her selfless and singular dedication to promoting sustainable development, peace and democracy that Professor Mathai was awarded the prestigious Nobel Peace Prize 
in the year 2004. She became the first African woman and the first environmentalist to receive this honor. This was a great award to a truly deserving person who waged a sustained campaign and spared no effort to promote, protect our environment. The late Professor Wangari Madhai also placed great emphasis on education, especially of women. She defied all odds and enrolled in school, especially at a time when education of the girl child was elusive. She became the first woman in East and Central Africa to receive a PhD in the year 1971. She also became the first woman to head a department at the University of Nairobi and to be appointed professor. Professor Wangari Madhai also dedicated her life to championing good governance, respect for human rights, and justice for all Kenyans. She did not shy away from speaking out on what is socially just and democratic. We recall with gratitude her active participation in the agitation for political reforms in the country and her exemplary performance as a member of parliament for Tetu constituency and as an assistant minister in my government in the Ministry of Environment, Natural Resources and Wildlife. It was in recognition of her distinguished service to the nation that I honored her with the Elder of the Burning Spear, awarded in the year 2003. The best way we can honor her is to carry on the great work she started, especially in the fields of environmental conservation, social justice, human rights, and democracy. May the Almighty God rest her soul in everlasting peace. Tunaombea baraka zako na kuturizwa na wewe. Na sisi baba tukiwa kama taifa na dunia nzima, tumeyasema mengi, tumeyasikia mengi katika budi... Amen. Um,